he's going to get thrown off by the matchup, really. It's just going to yeah. be trying to figure out how Larry plays, honestly. And I'm with Lass on this one here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the Palu. No surprise to me. It's simply because, yeah, Louis Money has played all the spaces himself, so he knows what they're very capable of and where they lack. Larry is a very, very different spaces breed. He does have the Falco. His pockets, maybe not as deep as Louis Money's, but I suspect he might go wolf if things go bad with the Falco. Of course, Larry is the master of these Falco combos. If you know, you've seen him on the streams here, and he starts off with a really hot 53 already on Louis Money, looking to take that 53 into a stock because this man is coming in with a lot of heat. Yeah, and uh, Larry's main practice partner is a Palu main too, so he also knows this matchup really well. So uh, I'm curious to see how this goes when you know two people know the character pretty well. And they're both really good. Nice down tilts. Oh, a little bit greedy with the down smash. But uh, that's going to be something that's really good for Palu in this matchup. Just for yeah. edge guarding in general. Blue Money trying to push Larry out of his advantage stage with using that down smash. But Larry just going to hop up and smack him in the face with a back air. Fantastic play. Going to take the first stock, you know, relatively early, especially in this kind of matchup. Blue Money trying to get the back throw off stage. Not going to be able to capitalize on an edge guard or a ledge trap, though trying to catch off stage with the explosive flame and going to get caught by the back air. Louis Money taking his first stock, still at 0%. So this is a perfectly even match at the moment. Yeah, I expect this to go super back and forth. Surprised that DIN on down throw didn't get Larry like harder punish. But he's yeah. gonna capitalize here. Larry is playing this edge guard really, really well because he looks to consistently go for an aerial and then come back on the stage, space himself to be within that roll distance, as you can see with those up tilts. And look at that. He's got Louis Money already at 92% looking for the down air because he knows how that teleport works here. Yeah. Into that rapid jab. Palu off the stage here. Blaster to make sure that Louis has to go for that low recovery. It's like you said, Strides. He understands this matchup because Gem City is his consistent training partner. And there's Larry is definitely showing a lot of what it's like to practice against Palutena, especially because she's one of those more common matchups, being one of the more common top tiers you usually see. Luma trying to get back onto stage, but you know, there's just like literally a wall being put up. Uh, Larry's been putting up a wall this whole time. Now he's finally in a position to be off stage, and Louis Money's not going to be able to capitalize on that uh, first time for everything, and instead actually going to get caught by a rising air off stage, and that's going to be the stock. Louis Money kind of hemorrhaging here. Uh, he needs to get the stock, and soon before Larry be, uh, is capable of putting on too much more damage, but it's not looking like that's going to be the case. 79%, 84 continuing to go up. This, uh, this pain train just doesn't stop. Larry is absolutely showing that, yeah, I know Palu matchup. You're not going to be able to get away with this. I mean, they don't call him the cutscene machine for nothing, dude. Those combos, once they're started, they, they just last forever. And they're I, like a Hideo Kojima cutscene, man. <laughs> they last yes, for five man. hours. But Louis Money finally getting started. Nair loop started. 34, 46% finally beginning to build up, but it might be too little too late. You know, sitting at 98%, that is very much in the range that Larry could just say, your stock is gone now. Looking for the up air, back air, not going to connect with it, and actually an understanding oh. up air. But the landing down air going to take care of it. That is game one under the belt for Larry Lur. Sometimes Larry does options that just work and I can't ever figure out why he would do it, <laughs> but, but it just works. And I think that downer was one of them. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what he was reading from the ledge, but he just <laughs> put it out. And Larry, he, it like. I kind of just see into the matrix. He sees things that the rest of us mere mortals yeah, can't. Right. Understand. This is what I like to call one of those living like Larry moments where that's where that's it just what it is. It is what it is, man. You When you're living like Larry and if you're not living like Larry, are you truly living at all? But that downer was really good. I think it's a mix of Larry understanding the fact that Palutena's um, recovery specifically it, she doesn't get automatically invincible at all. She actually has a frame window punish. You can actually punish her for coming out from that situation. And of course, Larry's training partner being a Palutena main, he puts that all together like homework that he's already turned in and it's putting him here in game two with the first point on the board. We've seen this run back right back to Smashville. Uh, I really want to see how Lou's going to adapt in this game. I really think this is a great Falco stage for the, the middle platform being able to reset combos a lot especially if he catches him air dodging uh, from an up tilt, he's trying to land. Okay. 
Oh, for an F smash, but not going to connect with it, getting punished with a grab instead, and this could be the start of something, like we mentioned earlier, the cutscene machine for Alary just never gets turned off. Just like literally any little inch that you give, he'll take an entire yard. Louie Money managing to get back to the ledge safely with that teleport. Larry trying to get something started with Nair getting caught with Fair instead, and that explosive flame could have been devastating, but just falling short. Oh, nice. That's a very easy punish if you know it's coming. Oh, a little possible that forward air. For the down air at ledge again, but not going to be able to connect. Up smash, getting the back throw. Loon Money going to try and prevent Larry from getting uh, getting anything started here. But, ooh, use of, uh, use of explosive flame there to make Larry think twice about going out off stage is going to pay dividends when Loon Money manages to come back on stage and get that kill. Now, Larry's been throwing out that up smash a lot this tournament just because it's active for a very long time and it's very strong. But uh, Illumina is playing so patiently. Edge guard opportunity here. Forced to go low. Cannot even come back. That's it doesn't not even need recovery. the edge guard. He just died. Yeah. yeah, he just got the clean snipe on the double jump with the auto reticle and he just, yeah, took that free edge guard. So this is all of a sudden the Louis Money show. Huge combo. Seeing him off stage. That's free 43%. Louis Money continuing to play safe as well. Great back air. Larry, man, he's he's already on uh, on his back foot here. He needs he's like an up tilt back air to sell his stock. Up so. tilt back air can only do so much, especially when Louis Money's got an entire two extra stocks to play with. Like, yeah, Larry Lure is a fantastic player and has the capability to take these two stocks. But can he take those two? Or sorry, take those three stocks without making a single mistake? Because that's the thing that that's the position that he's in at the moment. Lou Money yeah. is going to kill at the next presentable opportunity, and Larry needs to play uh, now two entire clean stocks without giving Lou Money a single in. Yeah. yeah. And versus Palu, that's a super hard task, but let's not count Larry too soon. Of course, the Louis Money continuing his really strong edge guard. Nice that's edge. the crazy thing about Larry too is it is the big question of like, oh, that's an excellent downer. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Larry was probably listening to the commentary last. Yeah, I, he's like, yeah, you know what? He's, um, Larry, if you're listening, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. You don't have to murder a man for, <laughs> for that. But that's the beautiful thing here about Larry is he knows when is the right opportunity to get out of the quick time event and then start the cutscenes because he's able to execute them right on point. Even though Larry is forced to go for these low recoveries. Ooh. Ooh. As I no. say that, as I say that. Wait, no way. The, the, no thing way. That we way say, the thing that we shouldn't have to say is that Louis Money clutched that out, but that's really what it felt like. Larry oh, definitely. Ward literally evaporated two stocks over the course of a minute, and all of a sudden, Louis, was, Louis Money was on the back foot after being up three stocks to one. Very, very suddenly ended up getting that down air on the recovery, but it shouldn't feel like that. When you go from being up uh, three stocks to one to having to clutch it out with a down air off stage, that is not a good feeling. And that means that you need to be very, very careful going into game three. Speaking of game three, it looks like we're just going to play it out on the same stage. We might end up seeing five games in a row here on Smashfield because it for sure doesn't look like either of these players want to bother banning. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Stages doesn't really have any super crazy counter picks. Like, I think the only counter pick is just Kalos, really. And uh, they're both playing so well in this stage that I, I don't. I'm not surprised to see them just keep running it back here. Oh. Yeah, most definitely. You can tell from Larry, he's very, very comfortable, specifically, like you said, Strikes. He does have that center platform to kind of reset those combos when he has the available ability to. But you can already tell Louis Money, that's the one thing about Palutena specifically, is her launch angles are really good against the Spacey, specifically because it either forces him to go for a high recovery, in which she can punish that, or forces him for a low recovery, in which you all know what happens when the Spacey has to recover low. Well, but looking like Larry of, has... Uh, speaking of forced recoveries, let's just talk about how Larry did such a good job there at ledge of taking away Louis Money jump and forcing him to recover in a very specific angle. Second time around off stage, and that's going to be the third kill of Dare this game. Cutscene uh, cut combo starting up here. Maybe no, just looking for the extra up tilt. Dead. Back throw actually not going to kill, and Larry's going to make it back to stage to live to see another day. Gotta say, I'm very surprised with that DI that the, the back throw didn't kill. Okay. Nice. Larry very cautious there on the recovery, too. A little bit too aggressive with the forward air, but. Sometimes you gotta be aggressive because the best best defense is a good offense, specifically for Falco if he does get that forward and off. He can combo if he fast falls it. 
for the side B to get in. It's really interesting to see Larry making use of these side Bs in this situation. And the, oh my god, the double down air off stage. Fantastic play to make another stock from a little money just go into the ether. Man, he's just so good at timing specifically how to get that teleport recovery. So consistent at getting that down there. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, this is a big, big showcase for Larry specifically because when we've seen him online, MSM online, you name it, a lot of Wi-Fi tournaments, we, it's very rare to see Larry at top eight, but at Invitational, he doesn't have to worry about those things happening to him. And he's looking to put quite a show against Louis Money, you know, one of the top players out here in NorCal. So it's kind of good to see Larry have a return to form. But the last hit of neutral air does push Larry off the stage and the back air to finish it off. Excellent play from Louis Money because you know you do get that invulnerability from piloting his back air. Yeah, Louis Money definitely down but not out. 48% right off the bat using those uh, nair loops and suddenly we're back to an even game looking for the high recovery from Larry trying to catch that up air at the top of the blast zone. Getting caught by a couple lasers, looking for the auto reticle, but good shield and some more lasers from Louis Mo or, uh, from Larry Lur. Sorry, the L names actually managed to get to me there. And up tilt back air. Not living. going to take it. He's hey. living through that. Louis Money's taking chance to life here back at the ledge. There's that safe grab. Larry doesn't want to mess with it, but there's the forward air. The very last hit. Still, still alive. alive. Oh, no slide. And no. there's the Larry mistiming Larry. the air guard just slightly and Louis Money capitalizing perfectly there. Larry See, tried to go off stage for that, uh, for that rising fair to catch Louis Money coming back to ledge, but instead he just, oh no, he had to go a little bit too low to capitalize on that and on the recovery, Louis Money would just pulled out the Uno reverse card and said, no, 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 you're turning the blast zone. And it's now 2-1 <laughs> in Louis Money's favor. That was a fantastic reversal in the offstage game from Louis Money. No, yeah. no if and buts about it. Oh yeah, beautiful comeback, man. Louis Money, uh, he's not getting flustered at all, even when he's losing. He just knows if he can continue to play solid and getting these hard punishes, especially on Falcon's recovery, he can always bring the game back. So like, that's really good stuff for him. And you, and I, I definitely want to give a shout out to Will over, Will uh, Will Overpower because he says three one Louis Money. See, I wouldn't be surprised if you see the three one from Louis Money because in Ultimate, Norka has definitely come together all on their own, definitely having some of the great talents they do have. I know we don't have players like Legit or Shaky anymore, but Louis Money, Varun, even uh, when I think Prodigy, these are all great NorCal hitters. They've definitely come together. They used to be seen as like the little brother to SoCal in terms of strength and power, but they've definitely kind of ascended to another level because Louis Money, he's got Larry definitely on the back foot with this 2-1 lead here. And let's see if Larry can definitely come back because he's having a hard time, finally able to push into center stage with the forward tilt and then set off stage yet again by Louis Money. Ooh, almost. He's definitely baiting Larry to do a neutral get up there so he can catch that back throw, but there it is. Gonna go low. Nope, air dodge to the ledge. Doesn't want to give him a free down air again, but another back air. Louis Money in such a strong position right now. Larry coming back onto stage with that fair could be the start of something, but the, the that's the big thing that I've been seeing a whole lot throughout this uh, this game, or sorry, not this game, but this set between these two, is that every time one of them gets started, the other has an answer, and it's just whoever gets more answers in. It's like a, a game of Jeopardy. Whoever gets, uh, whoever gets to say the most correct things is going to win. And it's at the moment it's seeming like Louis money because Larry's had these long, these devastating strings, but when it comes down to it, it's Louis money always capitalizing on these kills first, as we see with that nair off stage. And a little bit of a flex there with the teleport cancel to try and mix up Larry's neutral game. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's so up throw. Timed the up throw very well too. It's not easy for Larry to go for an up air or a back air after that. At least not at this percent. I think the fair at ledge and it is going to kill this time. Uh, Larry probably a little bit more thankful that that finally killed as opposed to uh, the ending of last game, but. Looking for these up, uh, up tilts in neutral, kind of show that he's getting, you know, I don't want to call it desperate, but Larry's definitely looking for something to get started. Because uh, he's had a very hard time combating Louie Money's momentum throughout this entire set. 
thinking about Falco too. Uh, Larry has talked about it. He doesn't believe Falco is that great, despite the fact of his ability to do with the character. That's just Larry. But that's like you said last. Falco has to get something started in order for the cutscenes to actually start happening. And until then, he's usually committing with a lot of options. So that's kind of enough for Louis Money to kind of get a little bit of time to be Larry finally able to get that start with that sneaky back air from the platform. Hopefully, it's not too little, too late, because we know Louis Money can adapt from that. Seeing that Falco is 86. And when any of the spaces is off stage, it's kind of curtains specifically against Paladina. Yeah, I'm not I counting the money out of this at all. Like, if you're even going to judge by the trend of this set, if anyone's like more likely to lose here, it's Larry. Really, that's what I'm saying, man. So uh, yeah, Larry just needs to clutch this out, continue to play solid. This is a, way, a good start of it though. That parry to the down tilt, continuing the edge guard here, doesn't catch the roll, but there's the jab catching the spot dodge. No tech chase here, but holy center stage. There's the big dash attack. No juggle. Larry hanging on by a thread. Nope, no punish on the spot dodge again, but he's still holding on to the stock. I think Louis Money might be looking for the back throw here, but Larry's not making it easy to connect. Louis Money getting set off stage. Larry looking to once again steal those jumps. F throw here, maybe back throw. Trying to go for the cross stage back throw, but it's not going to do uh, what he wants it to, especially, you know, I, I'm about to say only at 154%, and trust me, I mean it, because. Only 154% isn't going to get you a cross stage kill with a back throw. Yeah, I still appreciate that though, because you can tell he wanted to catch Larry on the DI slip up, but he catches Larry on the get up slip up because that back air, whew, looking to put right. it, right. It's, it wouldn't be surprising if Louis Money is able to take this because he's specifically oh, doing an excellent job getting those right answers, but Larry sneaks in with that side B. He's looking for the final kill at 135. Has him in the corner of the stage here. Nice, but doesn't punish the illusion on shield. Larry, he just wants to get something to hit here to close this out, but Louis Money's defense is so strong. Not making it easy whatsoever. Oh, for spot dodge up tilt, and Louis Money actually, I think he got shield poked there, uh, but the up tilt's not going to do too much in terms of harming him. You know, the difference between 100, not falling out of the up tilt, but the oh, difference man. between 140, 150 isn't too much on this stage against this character. Um, Larry trying to get the, the two frame at ledge, trying in vain to read the get up, but not going to get anything at ledge. 171% on Louis Money, you know, we're at stage two range at this point. Uh, Louis Money could definitely oh, close this out. The rock smash. Smash. Oh, Not going to do it quite yet, but 91%. Larry's definitely sweating right now. Oh my goodness, the clank on that? So unfortunate for Larry, but there's a three guard on Louis Money. Wants the edge guard. Oh no. Oh, nice, excellent attack, excellent attack. <laughs> But Louis Money's still on the aggressive here. Larry, he needs something. There's the forward air to catch the air there. And it's still no. not enough. The amazing DI from Louis Money still showing through. Larry puts himself off stage. Louis Money playing patient here. Nope, no back throw. Larry's playing so disciplined. Barely gets past the back, back, back throw. No. Oh, no. Louis Money. I'm going to be Louis honest. Money. I'm going to be honest. I'm mad in Larry's place because that there would have killed. Louis Money was yeah. 100. One percent, yes, center stage, but 171 percent on Smashville, and he managed to live through it, come back to stage, and get a grab back through it. Th 139. That's just yeah. honestly not fair. But it's, it's crazy. You drop him for clutching that out. No, and the, the thing, yeah, the, this is a reason I'm not surprised to see NorCal versus NorCal and Grand, and literally on the winner side of this because, like I said, NorCal has come together as a whole collectively and it has become a pretty strong threat. 